So you want to know how to mine Bitcoins on your own computer? Well, we're about to find out. Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell below. Got a couple videos, how-to videos coming out every week. Bunch of them in the cryptocurrency space. How to mine certain coins, speculative coin mining, best miners, and things of that nature. So do that real quick. One last thing, this is the Intertwin video for Bitcoin Fridays. What I do every week is I give away Bitcoin on every Friday. And the Intertwin video is today, usually on Wednesday. So details on how to enter Bitcoin Fridays will be later on in this video. So please make sure you watch this video all the way through. Also, if you like this kind of content, hammer the likes. I would appreciate it, guys. Okay, so I'm going to assume that you're new to the cryptocurrency space and you're looking to get into the game of Bitcoin. You want to maybe own some Bitcoin. Maybe you want to mine Bitcoin for yourself, which is why you're here. So we're going to go over how to do that really easily. And first, let's start off with the software you're going to need. And we are going to be using kudo miner for that so let's go over to here here's kudo miner there are other miners out there that once you do a little more research you'll find there's one called nice hash but they're kind of in a little bit of uh, legal turmoil right now so that's why i'm not you know mentioning them anyways kudo miner the future of mining is here mine better mine stronger mine faster join the mining revolution and receive 5,000 satoshis from us so Satoshi's is just a, a micro Bitcoin, basically a very small amount of Bitcoin. And if you want to know what 5,000 Satoshi's is, it would be 0 0.00005 thousand Satoshi's. And that would be about 45 cents for just downloading Kudo Miner and giving it a test run. Not a bad deal. 45 cents is not a lot of money, but that's at the current price of Bitcoin right now, which is roughly nine thousand dollars they're saying in the future bitcoin could go up as hundred thousand dollars or more so what that would be ten times that would be about 450 you would get but anyways we're going to be using kudo miner so we're going to click sign up and download i'm not going to go through that whole process it's very simple enter your email address things of that nature you want to verify it and then you'll be able to download the miner should automatically start downloading if not here is the dashboard once you've signed up and everything, as you can see, CryptoFish right there. So if you did not get the download link for the miner, once you scroll down to the bottom of your dashboard right here, just scroll over it, download for Windows or Mac, or if you're a little more tech savvy, Ubuntu and Kudo, its own operating system as well. But for the purposes of this video, I have Windows, so I'm gonna use download for Windows. I'm gonna click download. It's about a 48 meg file, so shouldn't take you too long depending on your internet connection so what I'm going to do is minimize this real quick I've already done that and this is what it looks like and you see I've already used this before according to my back office here dashboard you can see where I've mined here on and off for the past couple of days so once you download it click the installer I went ahead and when I downloaded it, I put it in its own folder called miners and if I scroll down right here, Kudo Miner, this is the file you'll download. And then once you unzip it, you'll get Kudo Miner. And then you click that right there. It'll install and give you a little desktop shortcut, which is right here. I put my desktop shortcut in that folder. Anyway, so once you've got it up and ready to go, you'll want to sign in, go over to settings. So once you get this, this is what it'll look like when you want to sign up, first get it ready to go. So you'll enter your username, click go, and voila, may or may not ask you to enter your password. But anyways, once you do that, you will be ready to go. So what we're going to do now is click enable. This will go ahead and benchmark your graphics card and or your CPU and benchmarking just lets the miner know what the best algorithm to use or to mine at any given time 
to give you the most amount of Bitcoin. So I'm going to let this run. I'm going to pause the video. We're going to come back when it's done benchmarking and we'll go from there. Okay, so now that we are done benchmarking, the CPU on this computer is mining Monero and the GPU is mining Ravencoin. This is a very low end GPU on this computer. You may have a better GPU or a better, maybe even a better CPU. Right now, only nine cents I'm making a day, but that should go up after the estimating two of 20 shares. Once that's done, it should go up. Probably I would imagine to about with this computer, 35 to 40 cents a day on average. So this is Kudo Miner and real easy to use. Download, install, go through uh, what I just went over here in a video and you should be all set and ready to go. So the next thing that we're gonna wanna get into is we're gonna go over to what's called What to Mine and we're gonna see what kind of graphics card you have and see your daily earning potential. And we'll look into Ravencoin here. So here we are on What to Mine. This link will be down below as well if you wanna go ahead and check this out for yourself. So on this laptop I'm recording with right now, I've got a 1050 Ti right here. So you just click the uh, little icon right there scroll down a bit and click calculate and what it'll do is give you the best coin to mine which is beam right here it's all kinds of different coins you can mine but we'll scroll down and raven coins giving you about 30 cents a day which is what was showing up on kudo miner at this time now this miner will at times switch different coins to see which is the most profitable one to mine at any given time. So let's minimize this. So as like I said, Raven coin, 30 cents, plus my CPU will probably give me another five to 10 cents a day. So 40 cents a day with Kudo Miner should be what I can expect on this. But on my NVIDIA rig, I've got a 1060, 1070 Ti and two 1660 Ti's click calculate on that and we will scroll down here and it says I should be making three dollars and eighty two cents a day on that rig mining swap or Z coin or any one of these different types of coins of course that has to be one of the coins that kudo miner can mine with and kind of limited on what it can mine with right now but it this still does have one of the most profitable ones which here lately has been Raven coin. So next, what we need to get into and probably the most important thing is going to be your wallet. So the wallet, I use a couple different wallets. The first one we're going to look at is Zellcore, one-stop platform for all your crypto custody needs. This holds over 100 different coins. If I'm not mistaken, we can scroll down right here. I know I've seen it somewhere. 100 different cryptocurrencies. Let me see. Maybe I passed it. Let's scroll all the way back up to the top. Yes, right here. Supporting more than 100 plus assets, including Bitcoin, Tether, Zellcore itself, Binance Coin, Ethereum, and many more. So just click download, install, very simple process. The next software type wallet is going to be Exodus, same type of thing, downloaded it. It's got a, about over 100 different assets as well you can choose from, but of course the main one we're going to be using is Bitcoin because that's what we want. So you just download this, install it, and pretty much will give you your wallet address. So I will pull up my Exodus wallet right now, one of my mini wallets, and we will show you what the address is. So here we are in my Exodus wallet. No, I want to be reminded later. So all we would have to do, that little noise is mean I got paid and I got paid again, whatever that was. So you just go over here and click on wallet and select Bitcoin, which is already selected. And you would just click receive. And right there is your receiving address. You click copy that. And now you've got your own Bitcoin address, which you could then go over to Kudo Miner. Where is the back office of Kudo Miner? You would go over to Kudo Miner, and then at that point, you could put your Bitcoin wallet address in there and be able to withdraw. Let's dive in. I'll show you how to do that real quick. 
here we are in the dashboard all you would have to do is go over to I believe transactions withdraw funds you want to withdraw your Bitcoin right now I've got 172,430 Satoshis which I need 0.002 BTC to be able to withdraw so I'm really close right now about 27 and a half Satoshis away but once that gets to 0.002 I would just scroll down here I would then enter my wallet address that I just got from my wallet click withdraw funds and it would put it into your software wallet right here so that's the two software version wallets if you want a little more security you can go ahead and get a ledger nano s and got a lot of cryptocurrencies you can store in these as well this is basically just like a thumb drive almost that you can plug into your computer and bring it with you anywhere you go a little piece of advice go to the ledger.com site itself don't get these from any other company besides ledger themselves because you never know what some other third-party vendor could do to them before they get to you and then you plug it in and then they could steal all your Bitcoin or whatever coin you've got in there so just go to the main product main company store right here ledger.com link to that will be down below as well in a nutshell guys that is how to mine bitcoins on your computer and a little bonus for today it, this is the enter to win video for my Bitcoin Fridays contest that I have going on every week so now that you've downloaded your own wallet Exodus wallet or the Zalcor wallet and I've showed you how to get your receiving address what you're going to need to do enter the current balance of kudo miner that my current balance 172,483 satoshis along with your Bitcoin wallet address in the comments section below that's what you'll need to do to enter Bitcoin Fridays remember subscribe hit that notification bell and if you like this video hammer those likes I would appreciate it okay guys that's it for today I'll see you in the next one take care bye